It's a very interesting conversation because that was one of the things, issues that came up at the Federation of Māori Authorities Conference um, was uh, should all the say rest with the iwi entities or should there be a more, more pragmatic approach around making sure that iwi voices were heard. So there is even dissent amongst Māori as to who people should be listening to and who should be at the table. Um, someone said, what is to stop the mongrel mob or black power um, from being self-appointed? That's a really interesting question. And uh, to answer some of those questions, we've got Shane Jones online. Good morning, Shane. Oh, we haven't got Shane Jones quite yet. Um, so as soon as um, uh, our new report, uh, Shane is there. Good morning, Shane. Hey, kia ora. Good morning, folks from the far north. <laughs> now you got a sunny day up there as well. No, the the uh, fruits of autumn have arrived, which oh, means getting a few lots showers. Of dead leaves. Yes, and a wee bit of chilliness. The winterless north has uh, has gone back its into its rabbit hole. Oh, that's not quite so good. Hey, there's a question that someone's just asked me before we get into some of these issues, and especially around your interview with the gangs um, as well. But um, someone's just, and I can't remember why and how it all arose. Some Māori businesses pay half a business tax rate, or that's what someone said. That's not quite true, is it? No, 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 no. There's a, there, it, within the tax regime, um, there is a rate of tax that applies to Māori organisations if they're registered with a, a charitable charity. trust. That's right. And But their and businesses are paying underneath pay. it's got to do with the pay. status of the charity. Yeah. yeah. Now, the businesses all pay GST. Yeah. They all pay PAYE. Yeah. They pay income tax. Uh, however, where they have a charitable status, mm. then part of their earnings is treated as a charity in very much the same way as sanitarium. 